Mocking Jesus is a topic that resonates deeply within the Christian faith. The Bible offers numerous accounts where Jesus faced ridicule and scorn, particularly during his trial and crucifixion. One poignant verse that encapsulates this is Matthew 27 verse 29. They braided a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and a reed in his right hand, and they kneeled down before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! This verse provides a vivid depiction of the contempt and mockery Jesus endured. Understanding the gravity of mocking Jesus and its consequences can lead to a more profound respect for his sacrifice and a more committed Christian walk. The Mockery of Jesus in the Gospels The Gospels provide detailed accounts of how Jesus was mocked, especially in the hours leading up to his crucifixion. Soldiers dressed him in a scarlet robe, placed a crown of thorns on his head, and gave him a reed as a mock scepter. They knelt before him, sarcastically honoring him as King of the Jews. This mockery wasn't just an insult to Jesus as a man but also a blasphemous rejection of his divine kingship and mission. This mocking continued even as Jesus hung on the cross. Passers-by, chief priests, scribes, and elders mocked him, challenging him to save himself if he truly was the Son of God. In Luke 23 verse 35, we read, the people stood watching. The rulers also with them scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if this is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The Significance of Mocking Jesus Mocking Jesus goes beyond mere human cruelty. It represents a profound spiritual blindness and hardness of heart. Those who mocked Jesus failed to recognize his true identity and the significance of his mission. Their actions were a fulfillment of prophecy, showing the extent of human sin and rebellion against God. Isaiah 53 verse 3 prophesied, He was despised and rejected by men, a man of suffering and acquainted with disease. He was despised as one from whom men hide their face, and we didn't respect him. The mockery Jesus faced was not just physical abuse, it was an outright rejection of his identity as the Messiah. This rejection has deep spiritual implications. It highlights the human tendency to resist and scorn what we don't understand or what challenges our preconceptions and sins. Consequences of Mocking Jesus The consequences of mocking Jesus are severe, both in biblical times and today. The immediate consequence for those who mocked Jesus was a demonstration of their own spiritual blindness and hardness of heart. They failed to see the truth standing before them, resulting in a missed opportunity for redemption and eternal life. Mocking Jesus signifies a profound spiritual blindness. Those who mocked him were unable to recognize the truth of his divinity and mission. This blindness prevented them from experiencing the transformative power of his love and forgiveness. The Bible warns that those who mock God will face divine judgment. Galatians 6 verse 7 says, Don't be deceived. God is not mocked, for whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. This principle applies universally. Mocking Jesus, rejecting his message, and leading others to do the same bring about consequences both in this life and the next. Persistent mockery and rejection of Jesus can lead to eternal separation from God. Jesus came to bridge the gap between humanity and God, offering salvation and reconciliation. To mock and reject him is to reject that bridge, choosing instead a path that leads away from God's presence. Mocking Jesus can lead to a hardened heart, making it increasingly difficult to respond to his call. Hebrews 3 verse 15 warns, Today, if you hear his voice, 
don't harden your hearts as in the rebellion. Continued mockery and rejection can result in a callous heart, resistant to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Modern Implications In contemporary society, mocking Jesus can take various forms, from blatant ridicule in media and public discourse, to more subtle forms of disrespect and disregard for his teachings. This mocking often reflects a broader cultural resistance to the message of the gospel and a rejection of the transformative power of Jesus. Movies, television shows, and other media forms sometimes depict Jesus and Christianity in a mocking or irreverent manner. This not only disrespects the faith but also influences public perception, potentially leading others away from the truth. On an individual level, mocking Jesus can manifest in dismissive attitudes towards his teachings and commands. Choosing to ignore or ridicule the principles of love, forgiveness, and sacrifice that Jesus taught is a form of mockery. In some parts of the world, Christians face persecution for their faith. This persecution is a modern-day form of mocking Jesus, as believers are ridiculed and oppressed for following him. Jesus warned of this in John 15 verses 18 to 20, stating that the world hated him first and would also hate his followers. Response and Redemption Despite the gravity of mocking Jesus, the gospel offers hope and redemption. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross was for all, including those who mocked him. His love and forgiveness extend even to those who have scorned him, provided they repent and turn to him in faith. The first step towards redemption is repentance. Acknowledging the wrong of mocking Jesus and turning away from such behavior is crucial. Acts 3 verse 19 says, Repent therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out. Jesus' response to those who mocked him was one of forgiveness. On the cross, he prayed, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. Luke 23 verse 34 This prayer underscores the depth of his love and the availability of forgiveness for all who seek it. Embracing Jesus and his teachings leads to transformation. Romans 12 verse 2 encourages believers to be transformed by the renewal of your mind. This transformation is a testimony to the power of Jesus to change hearts and lives, even those who once mocked him. Believers are called to witness to the truth of Jesus, even in the face of mockery. 1 Peter 3 verses 15 to 16 urges Christians to always be ready to give a defense for their hope doing so with gentleness and respect. By living out the principles of Jesus' teachings, believers can counteract mockery with love and truth. Mocking Jesus is a serious offense with profound spiritual consequences. It reflects a rejection of his identity and mission, leading to spiritual blindness, divine judgment, and separation from God. However, the message of the gospel is one of hope and redemption. Through repentance, forgiveness, and transformation, even those who have mocked Jesus can find salvation and eternal life. As believers, we are called to respond to mockery with love, truth, and a steadfast witness to the power of Jesus' sacrifice. Amen. Thank you for joining us. If you found this study helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more Bible studies and reflections.